A bonus of cold weather operation is that your aircraft performance is significantly increased. Effective horsepower is greater, the air is often smooth, and most importantly, fuel costs go down. It's every pilot's dream come true. However, operating a reciprocating engine in colder weather does require extra care and planning to prevent unnecessary wear and tear on the engine and to maintain the safety of the flight. Talk to your AME to ensure that your engine has the proper viscosity of oil for the temperature in which you'll be operating. All oils are affected by temperature and tend to become thicker as the temperature gets colder. Aside from difficulty starting, using an incorrect viscosity oil can prevent proper lubrication of the internal engine components. Depending on your aircraft, you may need to install engine baffles or winter kits once the temperature drops. Consult your aircraft manual for instructions on how and when to install them. Remember that fuel does not readily vaporize at cold temperatures, so be careful not to overprime and flood your engine. Starting your aircraft in cold weather can sometimes be difficult and frustrating. Always allow the recommended cool-down periods for your starter motor to make sure it isn't damaged during a difficult start. Once the engine is started, keep the idle at 1,000 RPM. This is especially important during cold weather to prevent lead fouling of the spark plugs. Pay particular attention to the oil pressure gauge just after startup. For many light singles, you should see pressure within 30 to 60 seconds. However, every aircraft will be different in how the gauge responds. So learn the characteristics of the gauge for your aircraft and watch for any deviations from the norm. Once the engine has been sufficiently warmed up, complete a thorough run-up. Pay particular attention to the engine gauges and ensure that everything is in the green. Listen to your aircraft. Does it sound right? You can tell a lot from the sound of the engine and can hear something that isn't quite right before it can be seen on basic engine instrumentation. If you're flying with a carbureted engine, check for carb ice prior to entering the runway for takeoff. It could have accumulated during the low power setting used during taxiing. Throttle use should be smooth and precise. Avoid large, quick variations of power. As a general rule, movement from idle to full power positions should take around three seconds. This is gentle on the engine and is efficient for a standard takeoff roll. When airborne, keep the oil temperature in the recommended range. Pilots are aware of the dangers of overheating an engine. However, running an engine too cool is a significant danger as well. Low temperatures may not permit the moisture that collects in the oil to vaporize. The oil can then become contaminated and possibly leading to engine damage. Engines are designed to be run in a lean state. Once you've reached your cruising altitude, leaning should be standard operating procedure. Consult your POH for specific procedures recommended by the manufacturer. As you approach the end of the cruise portion of your flight, remember to avoid sudden cooling of the engine. Engine damage due to fast, low or no power letdowns can result in cracked cylinder heads and more. Reduce your power gradually, but maintain some power throughout the descent. Keep your descent speed at high cruise or less and a descent rate of 1,000 feet per minute or less. During a prolonged descent with lower power settings, it's advisable to clear the engine in accordance with the procedure outlined in your POH. The momentary smooth application of increased power will help to ensure that full power is available if required. And if your aircraft has carb heat, don't forget to use it whenever the power setting is reduced to below 75%. And remember to either use full hot or full cold carb heat unless instructed otherwise in your aircraft's POH. Winter flying provides a great aviation experience, but it's important to understand the additional stresses that cold weather can place on your engine. Treat your engine with care and you can expect a trouble-free winter season.